Ladies and gentlemen, we have been working all day and now it's after work. I'm Joe. Welcome back to Developer Spotlight where games come out on the eShop every week. I go through, see if what's interest, and today we have... I, I messed that up, but you know what? We're going to go. We're going to go. Today we have Blasphemous, courtesy of Team 17 and the Game Kitchen. Uh, Team 17 publishing this, Game Kitchen developing this game. And uh, it's a it's very Castlevania like in in the uh, in the goth aspect and in, in in a lot of the uh, the the design of this game for sure. I I feel more I feel more touches of Castlevania than Metroid. But if you want to call it Metroidvania, go for that. And um, so it's a two D side scrolling platformer, and you're going back, returning to different areas, which is why I mentioned the uh, Castlevania Metroid like aspects of that. And um, the artwork is really well done. I am going to start a fresh file here. Um, I did play about, eh, I'd say, an hour and a half of it, but I, uh, I, I spent a lot more time just exploring the areas than really trying to progress. So I'd say I'd probably spent an hour and a half to two hours in the game, um, but only did a, I, I want to say a one, but. Uh, one boss i don't think i ever reached a second boss because i was just like i was literally just like amazed at the environments and i went through and just like started like moving around kind of jumping seeing what different enemies there are and uh it, it, it gets pretty it gets pretty gory very quickly so without further ado let's jump in blasphemous here we go make sure this volume is good enough so there might be a Might be some audio checking here as we go through. Bang, bang. So yeah, look at that, two hours, two minutes. There you go. <laughs> because it is my guilt, I claim you grievous miracle. Make my chest Yeah, squeamish people, close your eyes. Ford your punishment and nail it deep. Shake my guilt once again. Insane. And we'll be playing today with the Pro Controller as well. Using that D-pad life. And thus, guilt, repentance, mourning, and every pain of the soul of all kind were visibly and tangibly manifested everywhere and in all of us. Sometimes in the form of blessing and grace. Sometime in the form of punishment and corruption. That divine will, equally pious and cruel, which we could not and will never be able to unravel, was called the miracle. All right, here we are. Yeah, they hold no frills with the uh with the gore. <laughs> you have been warned. All right, the Brotherhood of Silent Sorrow. Let's do this. We are here. All right. So yes, press L to consume one of your binary bilary biliary flasks i can't read and recover vitality these consecrated so yeah you get these two little uh up on the upper left hand side that's my uh i get two of those i can restore them at a save point i choose to so you can do b b to jump y to attack and you actually got a parry move here if you time things right 
which I've struggled to get the parry down on on docked mode, but on handheld mode it works flawlessly. I think it just might be a like a, a very slight latency issue on my end because I run through a splitter to a capture card to then my monitor to get full screen uh, view of my of the game. Uh, aside from what I'm seeing in OBS, so that might just be something on my end. But um, handheld mode, I'm just like parries all day. Man, we can get that edge grab as well. I think Z. Oh, yep, ZR. ZR. If you duck down and use ZR, you can dash. Do that like um, <laughs> what I like to call Sub Zero. <laughs> <laughs> From what I understand, main game can be done about 8 to 10 hours. 100% of the game can take up to 30 hours or something. Wild. Wild. Here we go. Let me use this to save our game. And at some point, we'll be able to also check inventory or something along those lines. I think uh, shortly after this, we'll enable more on that. On handheld, it's a heck of a lot easier, Twin, for sure. And here we go, right away. Dark Souls it up. First boss. Let's do this. Is that the sim? What's going on, fam? Requiem Eternum. Yo, can we get a shout out for sim? Yo, Draco, you in there? So, yeah. From what I understand, this dude's thing is he can't talk. He's wearing that, like, um, that iron mask, I guess you can say. And, yeah, that just happened. He just filled himself up with a bucket of blood <laughs> just to feel a little more alive yeah there we go yo please show the homie some love sim what's going on fam so there we go we got first boss down <laughs> the man in the iron mask yo that was leonardo dicaprio right boom you need the key to the chamber of the eldest brother to open this door Sorry, I think I found that key in my other file right right before I had turned it off the last time I played this game. And uh, definitely let me know if the volume's too low on this. I, some, but most of this game is pretty quiet outside the me attacking thing, but uh, just want to make sure. Regretful be the heart, penitent one. The anguish of the eldest brother has now come. To Maybe it was end. a different key then. I am Deo Gracias, witness to and narrator of the acts of the grievous miracle. Such is my penance, as yours is silence. Well, Deo Gracias, I'm Deo, nada. <laughs> the cradle Very of happy about that joke, is what you see. This can be found in the mother of mothers of the churches. It is a remote place separated from the rest of these lands by a great sacred and forbidden door. Even a wise penitent like me knows nothing of what lies beyond those high walls. However, what I do know is that, according to the rule, one must carry out the three humiliations to gain access to what they guard. One of them must be performed in the high mountains, covered in thick blankets of snow and ice. 
Another in the depths of a dark, entombed church where the sleeper lies. And the last one at the end of the trail carved by moans that claw their way out of an iron spiral in the bowels of the bell named Hondo that grows into the earth. Take this thorn and place it on the handle of your sword. If, when the time comes, as you grip your weapon firmly, you notice that it wounds you and makes you bleed, having grown with more thorns sprouting from it, writhing over the figure of the father carved into the knob, that will mean that you are at the mercy of the grievous miracle, whether for its punishment or its hmm. forgiveness. All right, so we got our first item that we can equip right now. Uh, you can check out items you have found so far in your inventory while so, yeah, there's a lot of lore you can read behind these. Ask me if I've understood any of it. Uh, a lot of it's gone over my head. <laughs> but, um, but yes, we'll get more items very shortly in this game. Let's save it up. And then, uh, Sim, you were talking about it, uh, seeming like Souls like. Definitely not a Souls-like game. I mean, the bosses seem like they're going to be uh, a bit challenging. Um, I'll tell you right now, when I first jumped into this, I died by that boss on the first time around because I didn't understand what the game was teaching me right off right off the bat. But the second time around, I was like, oh, okay, I get it. I got to really slow it down a bit. Otherwise, it plays very much like uh, a, 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 a like Twin was saying, a Metroidvania style of game. You're going around, you're defeating enemies. Um, you're building, you are building up skills like that of like a Castlevania. You're finding them, you're equipping them. Um, you're going around and fighting certain bosses. So like the guy was describing the three areas that we're going to need to go to. And uh, here we are, just teaching us about Perry, which yeah, I had a very hard time trying to get this down on on dock mode. You can do a finishing move by pressing X once you do those parries. You land a successful parry. Bang. And these guys I was never able to really... I don't think you can parry those dudes. <clears throat> So we got our first orb. Bam. We acquired the Verdialis of... Oh, hold on, hold on. So here we go, our prayers. So you can select one prayer, and each prayer has, like, a different thing that you can equip. And it, every thing has a lore to it, which I applaud the Game Kitchen for really going... You can tell that they had a lot of love into um, going through the lore of this world. And adding every little thing to it to kind of like give you a broader aspect if you want to learn more about the story behind the game or behind the characters of the game and what's ha what's been happening what's been going on if you can piece it together so we're going to equip this uh, song that filled the air during the festivities of the lost of a lost village its power finds its way through the floor continues through the walls and ceilings harming the enemies of the pentian one the ringing of the laced shell horn used to precede this chant, but only silence remains. So here we go. So we're going to use our prayer using ZL, and that's what our meter, our blue meter up there is. So bang. There we go. And we just used up a chunk of meter there, which we build up. Uh, I think they call it guilt, if I'm not mistaken. You build up guilt, and you use it against these dudes. <laughs> is good with shades. Yo, the eyes are like almost perfectly aligned on on the uh <laughs> on the sip emo. It's hilarious. Will there be a weekend hunt this weekend? You're goddamn right there will be. There might be a little bit of Damon X Machina, but yes, there will be a weekend hunt, damn it. Goddamn right the Draco. And Draco and Draco. There will be a weekend hunt. And Draco. You 
don't have to parry enemies. It helps to learn it. You don't have to do it. So, these are collectibles here. I, uh, and I skipped the thing. I can only assume if you get the malls, you get something. Oh, hello. want to try to... Uh, I was trying to show the parry off again. Yeah. There, And that is the one thing. When you die, you will only go back to your latest save point area. Um, you can recover all your guilt from that area that you last died in if you go back. So there's at least that. Parry again. Holy the damage. <laughs> the blue is firmer or fervor or something like that. If you hit minus then Y, they go into tips and secret tip windows. Sure, I got that one. <laughs> wow, I got him from there. Huh. Interesting. All right, so I'll miss on that orb there. Um, I probably won't be able to join the weekend hunt. I've got work work I need to do this weekend. Yo, fam, this is all good. It is all good. There will definitely be plenty of those. Wow, I don't know if this game did this game get an update or something. Hold on, two seconds. No, it's still 1.0. Oh, okay, interesting. I'm landing way more. There you go. And I can pick that up. Then, than I ever did. <laughs> Guilt fragment recovered. There you go. So now I got my the meter that I had lost. I know we guilt something. I love these cutscenes here. It reminds me of like what you would see of that of like a Sega Saturn ish game or something. And my ornate throne turns its back on those who await you. Here we go. Albero. Let's do this. Alright, so yeah. We you guys already saw that, the map. Bam. We're right now in Albero. We were at the Holy Line before that. We get that save. Restock. Can't do anything here just yet. Hello. Actually, does that refill that as well? No, right? Yeah, I gotta kill people for that. Okay. Alrighty. See the entire environment. The entire world is just it's so drab. And uh, I'll show you guys something that I found out playing this game on my first well not that I beat the game like I said before I only spent a couple hours on it but bang right there <laughs> get yourself an orb calcium of Persian the bandit okay some collectibles right there you can enter that I didn't find anything there my first time around you know what's funny I don't think I realized that was there the first time because I don't think I ever went through that door. And we can talk to the people, which we'll talk to them in a second. But yeah, I think I need to. Oh, yeah. See that? Yeah, I think I need to get more of something. Oh, you know what? That's the collectible. Huh? Interesting. I think if I go here. It'll keep adding all the collectibles here. Maybe I'll get something afterwards. Maybe that's what that is. Because, yeah, you see the names of it. And that, I didn't even realize that that was the collect. Okay, that's what this is. All right, now we know. 
That is good to know. Alright, let's go here two seconds. Penitent one, you who carry the painful guilt in your cracked hands. Lend it to us and alleviate our burden. Lend it to us and wipe away our tears. Because it is an act of penitence. So <laughs> Mea culpa hath ascended. Alright, visit Mea culpa shrines to increase the power of your sword. You can also spend tears of atonement to unlock combat techniques. Visit additional shrines to increase Mea culpa's strength to access more powerful techniques. So, what they're referring to here is we got a skill tree right here. Boom. We go to the Mea culpa. We can probably unlock this right here, right now. Maybe. I have 800. So let's see. Wait a second. Takes advantage of speed of a fall to perform a powerful plunge attack. Can't do that one. Uh, Sinful Wrath concentrates the power of the Mea Copa on the blade, allowing the Pentient One to release its full potential in a single but incredibly de devastating attack. And that one we can't do, so let's hold Y on that. Bang. Let's go. Okay. Boom. <coughs> So there we go, it's a charge up. Boom. Right there. Can't unlock that. So yeah, that's the only one I had found so far in the game. Because literally I was just like jumping from place to place looking at things because I didn't want to delve in too deep. In case we uh in case we dove in further on the stream. But yeah, look, look at that. You freaking bleeding on the back and everything over there. Sorrowful be the heart, penitent one. Welcome to Albero. Sanctuary to this humble brotherhood but, uh, of the kisses of wounds. I hope everyone's doing well tonight. Few remain here who can still employ it. But I really like that they have name. all this voice acting going on in the game. There are few of us who still care for the sick and ailing. With devout kisses, we bless the wounds of those who seek our protection. Thus both we and they remain at the mercy of the miracle. Time outside these walls passes by strangely. In sundowns, we need not contemplate, but if your penance happens to carry you under said skies, be so kind as to bring us some ingredients for our ointments. No. The will in the miracle shall show you which ones they are. No, none for you. You're done, son. You're done. The dove skull. All right, here we go. So equip rosary beads in your rosary to improve the characteristics of the penitent one. Find additional knots to increase the number of beads you can equip. So those little knots, those nodes that are right there. Right now we can only equip two. So right now, skull of the bird drilled as a collet. Its apparent frailness slightly strengthens his penitent one's defenses. So heck yes. Increase that defense right there. Let's go. I don't think I can do anything there. Oh, whoopsies. Nope, can't do anything there. Okay. Thou hast called upon the winch of the Order of the True Shrine. In this place, we gather the remains of those who were separated and forgotten, so we can grant them holy burial, as our charitable rule prescribeth. Help us these poor souls, O oh, penitent one in silence. The order blesses you. All right, so we'll probably be able to get that later. Bang. Phalanx of Brennan, the grave digger. And again, we can learn more about that. All right, here we go. Wasteland of the Berry Churches. Let's do this. Yeah, she's a pain in the butt to freaking try to get. Oi. So yeah, I don't know if that does anything, but <laughs> you you can kill those dudes. Hello. You 
done, son. I won't kill them. <laughs> There, you can't parry, but I had the hardest time trying to parry against this dude. It's possible, you can do it. Again, the timing is just. I feel like the timing was very tricky for me when I was first jumping in on dock mode. only because I want to unlock Hello. I want to unlock that log down there ooh, ooh, ooh. finish him oh <laughs> awesome oh yeah all right let's see if we can do this I didn't accidentally use that first one. I could have healed and then bang. Yeah, don't worry. I'll get that dude because I want to be able to make that a shortcut and open that up. There's a log behind them. Good thing is when you die, you keep any of the collectibles and such that you've picked up, I haven't noticed me losing any tears, but you do lose your guilt fragments. So that is a thing to keep an eye on if you're, if you're using up your specials like crazy. Log right underneath us. That's what I'm trying to unlock. Guarantee survival here. <laughs> oh man. Oh wow, cheap shot. Yeah, jerk. Right. Back my guilt fragment, please. Ugh. And it's holding on to a deer. and whacking us with the deer. I thought it was a dog at first, and I was like, oh, Jesus. All right, here we go. Boom, my my Yavula of Proclamation. When the Yavula is equipped, you have a chance of earning Tears of Atonement when destroying an object, which is handy, but bam, we also got that now. Heck to the yes. I actually got killed by that dude one time because I didn't see him up there. 
Give me my angel. Come on now. Play it safe. Play it safe. No? It's pretty impressive that she could swing that around like that. few different ways that this path will break now. We'll go to the dead end first. I think there's an item up there. I'm not mistaken. I don't know if I... I pressed R. I don't know if I did block that, though. <laughs> I think that was just happenstance there. Yeah, there's a save point up there, so that's what I really want. I don't want to have to go all the way back up the other way. There's another safe, pot, safe spot where I do want to go. This is the first place he mentioned. Bridge of Three Cavalries. So yeah, we won't be able to do anything up here, but... Just so you guys can see. Oh, the homie's back. Here lies the door on whose bronze the ordeals of those chosen by the miracle are perpetuated. On it, for the art of these images to be worshipped and revered, ornamentation must take place. His sculpted holiness watches us, rigid, from on high. But find the holy visages, and the bronze will know. Oh. For fickle are the wishes of the miracle. Check Arsenal with your YouTube account. If there's any left, freaking, I am sure you are more than qualified to freaking review it. If, I, if, I'm, if I'm qualified to freaking do it, you are like well above and beyond able to. Oh, 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 finishing, finisher, 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 let's go. Ha <laughs> ha suck it. Boy. Come on. Come on. Do it. Do it. But yo, bad bit, what is going on? Yo, can we get a shout out for the homie bad bit? I do want to see if I can get this. Wow, that was not nice. That was not for that up is not forgiving. <laughs> wow. All right, to the mountains we go. Let's get this started. Should I go back to town and bring that to the mea culpa? Yeah, am I? Eh, we'll see. All right, so here is something that I think is really cool. You can actually... There is wall climbing. You stab your sword right into the... Bang, bang. Video bad bit. What is going on, fam? Contrite. And humiliated be the heart, penitent one in silence. You stand before what remains of Gemino. Oh, Gemino. do not fret for me. The cold is merciful, for it relieves our pain and numbs us before it leads us to our deaths. Perhaps the miracle the others spoke of has come to me. Here, to a promised land, you direct your march. To the place where the frozen and the burning embrace in communion. Let me ask of you the favor of bringing me a few drops of the oils that once came out of these icy olive trees. The ones that ended up scorching the faces of every pious person who ever reached the summit. As my last wish, before it is too late for me, let me feel that pain. Take this. Empty golden thimble. Thimble. Now. Let my numb <clears throat> arm become another branch of this withered olive tree. Yo, his arm is like not Hurry in a good position there. <laughs> the Alright, here we go. Let's do this. We got our mission. I'm debating on getting it, but I shouldn't. I need to cut back. How is it? If you like, um, actually, Sim, did you ever. Uh, you. Did you ever keep going through with Bloodstain? Because I would say that's probably the closest relation I can make as far as like a current game goes as to what it is. What we got here? 
here. Incense garlic. Can I use that on anything? No, that's just quest items. Okay, we'll use them at some point then. And, uh... I know I checked in before with y'all, but game and I sound all right. Oh, hello. I keep forgetting I own. <laughs> yeah, I would st I would relate it more towards that, but with a uh, but with a neat parry system. Um, and although the, the the one boss that I have fought so far seems very wow, I was trying to heal. Um, although I was like I was saying before, although the bosses the the one boss that I fought seems like it's going to allude to maybe a Dark Souls type battle where you do have to like slow the pace down a bit it it feels way more manageable in a way getting Castlevania vibes very much so that like I, I guess you can say uh, I say gothy feel um, there's like a medievalness to it I guess more it's probably the better way to describe it in terms of like the villages. And... Although certain Castlevania games have villages, so I mean, I don't know the, the 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 look of what's going on here. What I'm trying to get at. Wow. Yeah, these things were annoying. This is why I had stopped going to this area. I was trying for the longest, and I could not for the life of me because of that dude. And then that one enemy right there that would not stop spamming bombs. Yeah. This right here. This is why I started exploring everything else. <laughs> so let's see if we can persevere and get through. I'll try to learn the parries if I can. If I can even parry from underneath. I don't really know. That, maybe I can go back, spend some points on some other items. On some other power-ups and whatnot. Feels like you took Alucard but made him a bad guy who really dr does drink blood based on what I'm seeing. <laughs> You know, right? He freaking took the blood and destroyed the, uh, destroyed that big old boss there. Which I'm sure if we start reading the lore and maybe getting some more answers, we, uh, I mean, uh, start like, uh, getting more into the bosses and delving deeper to this, we'd probably find out more about why this dude is actually cursed with, uh, being silent and having to wear an iron dunce cap. <laughs> oh, I forgot about that dash. There we go. Bang, 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 bang. Got him. There's one more. I need to learn how to kill. Whoa, what was that thorn? I'm all thorned up there. Whoa! There we go. Yeah, this takes a lot. I don't know why she's so angry throwing bombs at me. Whoa, whoa! I think she burned her. She incinerated herself. Dude, this game is wild. <laughs> I went this area first instead of the lower right, and the boss was crazy. Ended up beating him after a few times. This area was tough in general. All right, so I don't feel so bad about freaking getting wrecked. Yo, that right there. This person. I'm going to bring you down to here. Boy. Right there. Just stay right there. Just stay right there. Just stay right there. There we go. Oh. Stop it, you two. Woo. All right. 
so I can't control the camera downwards. So I'm scared to go down there. <laughs> I feel like it's going to be super rewarding if I do go down there, though. Here we go. Break Graveyard of the Peaks. All right. New territory for you, boy. Let's see if there's a save point over here or something. Let's go a little deeper. Let's go a little deeper. Yes. All right. <laughs> Thank you. My goodness. All right. So if we die down there, I won't be I won't be mad. I'm going to have to go back, so I'm going to do that. Oh, don't worry. You'll be getting wrecked a lot here. All right. I am with that. I can do that. <laughs> I am very good at that. Somehow feel like okay. No, they're gonna keep on showing up. Oh, oh, hi. Wow, okay. That's an interesting area. I feel like I'm gonna get a good I feel like I would get something good out of that if I kept going there. Why the hell is it jittering like that? dirt bag wow <laughs> all right all right here we go nope okay yeah i had a feeling you're just gonna keep on attacking your old boy there we go bang 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 Wow! Wow. With the uh, right analog, and now it's like shaking every now and again. <laughs> I think it might be my controller, though. Wow. I got two of these. Dude, the health it takes. Jeez. I'm doing good. Just been so busy. Yo, no worries, fam. Freaking. I'm glad everything's going all right. It's better to be busy than not at all. Yo, but is that. Is that Shocktopus? Dude, what is going on? Hello. Come on, come on up here. Come on up here. Come on up here, fam. Let's go. Come at me, bro. Come at me, bro. Uh, that's crazy. That's still stood here this whole time? has appeared. What's going on, Shock? Oh, 
Christ. Oh Christ. Oh Christ. Ugh. No, no, no! Ah! Mother of mercy! Oh god, I'm gonna die. Ugh, this is rough. No! Oh, did the wind come? Oh, uh, no! I guess I was supposed to jump from a little higher up. Man! Man! No, 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 no. Bam, 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 bam. No! God damn it! <laughs> oh wow, it keeps multiple. I did not know that. Okay, that's good to know. Just trying to not slide off here. There we go. Ah. Oh god, there's way too many things happening here. Okay. Uh, let's get rid of this guy. Nah, 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 nah. Okay. You know, I am terrified to go and grab that angel, to be honest with you. I don't even think I could do it. Mother of mercy, what the hell? What was that? I don't know what happened there, but okay. Oh, for Christ's sake. Wow! Okay, didn't edge grab that. Okay, now I know that. Oh, Jesus Christ, this is getting infuriating. <laughs> Oh, man. All right, let's try it out one more time. Oh, my God. We were up there, too. Dude. Man. <laughs> Yo. Oh, my goodness. Bahamu. Robbie Bobby. How's it going? Insanity is right, dude. What the heck, man? That's fine, that's fine, that's fine. Oof. Got me on that one. of everything. Got invited to Las Vegas to check out the Soul Calibur tournament in November. Dude, that's awesome. What? Okay. All right. My brain can only handle so much. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna mess more with this on handheld mode for sure because I feel like I was I feel like I I've been doing at least with timing and such and platforming way better on handheld than on dock mode and again I don't know I, I don't wanna uh, I don't wanna say that it's something with dock mode I think it's the latency of me with the capture card because there are certain games that have that issue. And I feel like that is, I feel like that's what I'm experiencing for half of this. I know there are definitely moments here where it is my fault. 
but I just feel like not all of it is on me. I feel like there is a latency thing going on with this. So <laughs> we're going to end this spotlight here. That has been Blasphemous. Let me know in the comments down below if you're watching this over on the YouTube side um, or even on the Twitch uh, highlights afterwards uh, if this is uh, something up your alley and uh, or if you've picked it up or if uh, you are interested by the game from this playthrough or, or not, definitely let me know. All feedback is definitely appreciated. So with that said, this is Joe clocking out, and I'll see you guys next time with that Team 17 uh the game kitchen thank you again for providing me with a few review copy i'm going to continue to play this on on uh on on handheld and see if there really is a difference in play between the two again i think it is my capture card um just having a subtle latency even though um i'm watching it through my monitor up above that's just got you know hdmi to the uh switch so um We'll, we'll, we'll see what's going on there. But with that said, I will see you guys soon. With that, take care. Love y'all.